Hello guys, on the 4th of February 2023, this woman by name Tumbi Kaise Numko Mizizi was stabbed 14 times by the father of her child. Was stabbed 14 times by the father of her child in front of their 7 year old son. Because she refused to go over to her boyfriend's place to sleep the night and have sex with him. So he stabbed her 14 times. This all happened in Gamalak in Port Shepston in South KwaZulu Natal. So guys, before getting into this crime story proper, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Please subscribe so that we can get up to a thousand subscriptions. And do not forget to like and share this video. So guys, let's get into this crime story. Tumbukaisi Nomko Mizizi and her boyfriend, whose name isn't given, has been dating for close to 9 years. Together they have a 7 year old child. And during the 9 years of them dating together, they have been living apart. She has been living with her father with their 7 year old child, while he has been living alone in his own house. According to the confession of Mizizi's father, Mr. Molinkisi Thembo, according to what he thinks of his daughter's boyfriend, he said his daughter's boyfriend has been a very abusive man. He had been abusing her since from the 9 years of them being together. Thembo explained that there are times where his daughter's boyfriend had put his hands on his daughter, like slapping his daughter and even punching his daughter in her face. And that he had confronted his daughter's boyfriend on several occasions not to put his hands on his daughter again. He went further to say that due to the severe beatings that his daughter's boyfriend always gave to his daughter, he had warned him not to step foot in his compound, not to talk of him even being in his house. And that he had warned his daughter to end the relationship with the father of her child, that he is a very abusive man. But his daughter would not listen. It was on the 4th of February 2023, around 7 pm, when Mulungisi, Mzizi's father, was sleeping in his room. Mzizi was in the living room with her son sitting together, watching TV. Her boyfriend came around 7 pm while Mzizi's father was sleeping simply because Mzizi's father had warned him not to step foot in his compound. So he came at the right time Mzizi's father was sleeping. He knocked the door and entered. He told Mzizi to come over to his place around 7 pm at night to come sleep over so that they can have sex. But Mzizi refused because she had already taken heed to the advice her father had given her. Due to the counseling of her father towards her to end the relationship with that boy, she listened. She refused not to go over to her boyfriend's place to have sex with her boyfriend. All of a sudden, her boyfriend got heated and started forcing her against her will to come outside, let him go, so that she can sleep the night at his place. But she said no. Mind you guys, they were having this fight in front of their seven-year-old child. All of a sudden, Mzizi's boyfriend took a knife on the table in the living room where Mzizi and her son were sitting when he came in and stabbed Mzizi 14 times. Mind you guys, he stabbed Mzizi, the mother of his child, in front of their seven-year-old child 14 times. 14 times he stabbed the mother of his child in front of his seven-year-old child. Mizizi's father, Mr. Mulungisi, heard the loud cry of agony from his daughter. So he rushed quickly to the living room where he saw his daughter struggling to get out of the house. While he looked out and he saw his daughter's boyfriend running away with a bloody knife in his hand. And when he turned over his daughter, when his daughter fell at the door of the living room in his house, and he tried to turn his daughter to ask what is going on, he saw blood oozing out of his daughter's stomach. Profoundly, he immediately called his neighbors and his neighbors tried to rush Mizizi to the hospital, but Mizizi gave up the ghost. He immediately reported the matter to the police, and the police are still on a manhunt to arrest Mizizi's boyfriend, who had stabbed her 14 times in front of their seven year old child. Guys, this is crazy. In his confession of the crime to the police, he said he had warned his daughter about this abusive guy for the past nine years of them being together, having a seven year old child together. But his daughter will not listen. He said he had warned his daughter times without number, but his daughter will not listen. According to his words, he said she died because she refused to listen. He went further to explain what had transpired that day between his daughter Mizizi and her boyfriend. And he added in front of the police that he wants justice for his daughter, saying, I want justice for my daughter. I want justice for my daughter. What man in his right senses would stab the mother of his seven year old child 14 times? 14 times and killed her like a dog. I say that Mrs.'s boyfriend has killed their child because their child is going to live with the images of his father stabbing his mother 14 times and that he has caused his seven year old child to be motherless and at the same time to be fatherless because the child's father will spend his entire life in prison. So, guys, this is crazy. And this all happened in South Africa, in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, I think at Shepstone, you know, south of KwaZulu Natal. 
So this is crazy. South Africa, like I said, has got the highest rate of femicide in the entire Africa. South Africa has got the highest rate of femicide. It ranks at the number three position in the whole wide world. So this is crazy. This does not come as a surprise. But my problem is, I think, you know, something must have been, something must have transpired more than for that guy to stab me 14 times. She must have done something. Or maybe he came being drunk around 7 p.m., on the 4th of February 2023 in the house of Mrs's father he came drunk because I don't think a man in his right senses you know normal senses will stab a woman 14 times simply because she refused to come over to his place to sleep over the night so that they can have sex together but I am not negating the fact that this can be the cause of the reason why he stabbed her 14 times or maybe you know he's so angry that Mrs listened to her father and decided to sever ties with him. So maybe that provoked him to come over with anger, holding me Zizi that you must come over to my place and sleep over so that we can have sex, you know, together. So it's crazy that in this world there are men who would so act, you know, by the instincts of sex to kill a woman because a woman says no. No man has the right to kill a woman because of sex. It doesn't make sense. What is sex? A five minute pleasure it will stab a woman 40 times i know sex is a very powerful thing it is so powerful it's so powerful it can drive a man crazy yes and it can also drive a woman crazy but as men we should be able to control our sexual urge we should be able to control our sexual urge because if we can't control our sexual urge we will go around raping women we will go around killing women simply because they refuse to give us sex. Now, I've reported here times without number on crime cases where a husband has killed his wife because his wife refused to open her legs for him and killed her. But as men, I know sex is so powerful in a man's life. It can cause a man to be the widest of the widest beast, you know, in his marriage, in his relationship with his girlfriend or his fiance. But we should be able to control the urge of sex we should be able to sit upon it to control our urge if not it will destroy us if not it will destroy us so guys this is so sickening and this and their seven year old child will keep on reliving the moment of his father stabbing his mother 14 times that that picture will never get out of his mind now that picture will never get out of the seven-year-old child's mind it will never get out of that child's mind it will forever be there it will traumatize that child psychologically psychologically mentally emotionally so that child needs a therapist to help him at this young age to get out of that if not that will affect the child as the child grows older so guys what do you all think about this crime case i'll let you get your thoughts down in the comment section of what you think Thank you. I love you all, but know Jesus Christ loves you more. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.